Let's begin by learning how to bring in photos from our camera into Bridge. Typically most cameras today are digital and you can either connect them to your computer via a USB cable or they have an SD card that you can actually insert into your into your computer. My little Canon uh, uses an SD card and so I'm going to plug that card into my Macintosh right now and there it is. However, if you're using a Macintosh, you may have the same thing. Uh, the Mac would like to, to import your photos using the new Photos program, or if you're on an earlier computer, it'd be iPhoto. But uh, we aren't going to use that today, so I'm going to quit out of Photos altogether. And we'll start by launching Photoshop. We could also launch Bridge directly. I'll get it going as well. But I'd like to show you how to get into it from Photoshop. Okay. So here we are in Photoshop. And you'll notice that up in the File menu, we can browse in Bridge. Bridge is much better at letting you see and organize and, and get information on your on your images than just using the operating system. So you'll notice that its shortcut is Command and Shift plus O. On a PC that would be Control Shift O. Um, let's go ahead and launch Bridge. Here is Bridge. And you'll notice that uh, up across the top here, it's, it's saying that we're on our computer. Here's my uh, external hard drive, and I'm in a particular photo right now. Uh, I can click on desktop, uh, documents, pictures, in this mode, uh, or even in my in my home folder. If you want to go into more detail, you can click on this tab, the folders tab, and then. Uh, use the reveal arrows there to um, to be able to click on any folder and then you'll notice in the center that bridge shows just exactly what's inside that folder um, some of them may be PDF files, some may be JPEGs, uh, other kinds of images so I'll just click on desktop right now in order to bring in photos from a camera, all we need to do is to go up here in the upper left area and you'll see a little camera icon that if you hover over it, it will say get photos from camera. I'm going to click on that and that will launch the Adobe CC downloader. Now I'm in the advanced dialog. I'm, I'll switch to what you're probably seeing. So to begin with, Adobe will say, okay, what device have you got here? And it'll let you select. You'll notice that my iPod is here. And there's my Canon DC um, uh, SD card right there. Um, I'm going to click on that. And you'll, you'll notice it has 15 files selected and how large they are. Now, what I can do here is I can choose where things will download. For example, let's uh, click on the Choose button, and I'll say I would like things to download to my desktop folder. The second question is, where would you like them? Uh, what would you like the folder to be named that these photos will be saved in? And here you have a lot of different options, all the way from none, to custom name, to various things like shot date. So if you're if you're uh, wanting to organize by date, this would be a great one because it would go into your uh, metadata on your photos and and see what day and year they were shot in, and create a folder, a subfolder for each one of those, named with the year, the month, and the day. I'm going to choose custom name. And uh, I think I'll uh, name my custom name Wallpaper. And so 
you'll see in the location it's going to save to my desktop in a folder called wallpaper. Now, as far as file names go, you can have it rename each file, each uh, photo as it, as it comes in. I think uh, I will choose custom name and I'll name this one uh, desktop wallpaper and you'll notice that it has uh, a number out of it. This is the number where it will start. So for example my first photo will be named desktop wallpaper 0001, the next one 0002 and so forth. Um, some check marks here that we can do. We can open in uh, Adobe Bridge when we're done, which means it'll it'll open it up in Bridge when it's completed. Uh, we can delete the original files off the camera. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing this. I would uncheck that one and bring your images in, make sure everything's all right, then put your card back in your camera and reformat your card. Uh, there is an ad advanced dialog. So here in the advanced dialog, you can pick particular pictures. So here I can uncheck all of them if I want, uh, uh, and then just click on the ones that I want to bring in, or I can check them all and unclick the ones that I don't want to bring in. And over here you have a few extra things that you can do. Uh, for one thing, you can save to a, a separate location. So I could pull them into my desktop, and if I have an external drive connected to my computer, I could save a copy of them to that external drive there, so I have a second copy. I can also apply metadata, and uh, so uh, here I'm, I'm wanting to add data that says uh, this was taken by me, and the copyright date and my name. And then I'll say get media. And so it says no media files have been selected. Just a minute. We'll check all of them. And <laughs> well, this is acting a little strange. I'll just bring them all in. So the downloader is grabbing my files and then you'll notice that on my desktop it has created a folder called wallpaper and then named each file as it brought it in. Desktop wallpaper one, two, three, four, and, and so forth. All right. And so uh, a couple of different things I can do. If I, if I click on any of these pictures it will show me a preview over here on the right side if I click on metadata and I scroll, scroll down to IPTC core you'll notice that uh, in this data it automatically added my copyright and uh, and my name and so we can use the arrow keys to move from one picture to the next. If we double click on an image, that will open it up in Photoshop for us. Also, going back to camera or back to, to bridge again, we can right mouse button click on any picture and open with a number of other uh, applications we have on our on our computer as well. If you're using Photoshop CS6, Adobe Camera Raw will be one of these. So JPEG images, TIFF images, and Camera Raw images can all be opened right from Bridge into Camera Raw. Uh, since I'm using uh, Creative Cloud 2014, They've changed that a little bit, and Camera Raw is now a filter in the filter menu, and I go there to open it in Camera Raw. So that's how you import photos from Bridge into Photoshop or Camera Raw.